All right, everyone, welcome to another solutions video. In this video, we're going to create a program that takes the three integers that are five digits long and find the product of multiplying the last digits of those integers. So just like any other video, let's start with our inputs first. We're going to get m1 is equal to integer input, m2 is integer input, and m3 is also integer. And what I want to do is grab the last digits of those integers. If you ever want to grab the last digit, the quickest and nice way to do it is to use the modulus operator divided by 10. That's going to help us give, get the last digit. Because, let's see, here we go. So, um, and we're going to add, uh, pro multiply all of them. So we're looking at a total product is equal to num1 modulus 10. I'm just going to show you what that looks like. The total product right here. This program is not complete. I just want to show you what this does. So I'm going to enter, let's say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2. So what it's doing is that it's going to divide this by 10 and get the remainder, the integer left over when I divide that number by 10. So if I were to divide 1234 by 10, 123 of the 3 of 10s go into 1,134. Therefore, we get 4 left over, and that is our remainder. That is our integer remainder. And that works with any numbers, multiples, um, any number, any integer. So here, right, I can take 12 tenths into 123, so we will get 3 as left over. I can only take 1 10 for 12, and we'll get 2 left over, right? Here, let's say our number was 4. If I were to divide 4 by 10, I can only take 0 of 10 into 4, therefore I get the entire number left over. So it works for single digits too, but not necessary. All right, so it really doesn't matter if the digits were 10,000 digits long or 5 digits long. As long as we do a module 10 here, I can get the last digit. On that note, I'm going to do num1 modulus 10 multiplied by all together num2 modulus 10 multiplied by the quantity of num3 modulus 10. So I'm taking these three inputs and finding their remainder when divided by 10 and multiplying them all together. Then we can say our output is just total product. So let's run this code. So let's say if I did 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and let's say 12. That makes sense because 3 times 4 is 12. I don't know. Yes. 3 times 4 is 12, and if I multiply by 2 of the last digit on the second number, I get 24. And yes, our inputs could have been 5 digits long, so if I did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 1, let's say, and we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 again, it's just going to multiply 5, 1, and 5 together, which we end up getting 25. Okay? So a modulus is a really good way to separate digits from an integer, and this was just a quick review on how to do Thank you for watching and stay classy.